So it's a cold and rainy, wet day in Houston. There's my, uh, what do you call them? Broccoli and lettuce, olive trees. Anyway, here is the hillbilly hoop house. Pretty much works. Keeps it uh, warm most of the time. Let me give you an inside tour here. I don't really have a serious door. But inside, as you can see, we've got some rows set up. I'll give you a quick tour of the construction. It's three quarter inch PVC. These are 10 foot strands. You can see these, uh, you know, the spinal cord essentially down the top. It's all very cheap materials. Uh, these are PVC cemented, uh, but the strands themselves will come apart, so I could easily disassemble this. That's the point. And you got a little wood frame at the end. These are the T structure that will ultimately support. Uh, well, I'll have to do another video, but there'll be that will be connected with that by some type of two by four structure at the top, so that you could you could send uh, twines down to the bottom and have the the vines grow up down these rows. So we'll have rows of, of tomatoes growing up uh, on vines here within a month or so. So not terribly warm in here today. Uh, what are we, like 60 degrees? But on a normal day when the damn sun is out, this thing will get cranking up to, you know, 79, 89 degrees even, maybe even 90. you got to be careful as long as the sun is out. Uh, it'll really heat up in here, and you got to kind of monitor things, maybe keep the door open a little bit if it's too sunny. So we could have a 50-degree day out or a 40-degree day out, and a hot sun will keep this guy up to uh, 90 degrees. The plastic is just a giant sheet of 6 mil plastic. got it for 89 bucks online, and it's literally just draped over. However, and I'll show the outside again. Let me do that right now. It's draped over... But you got a little little strip of wood that is, uh, you know, some drywall screws, and it just kind of tucks it in there and holds it in place into the would you call that the footer, I guess. So that's probably the most sophisticated part is this thing right here. It's very simple, but you know, there's more structure to this with these angle irons. They're about a foot into the ground, uh, and then. The PVC is just strapped there with that, that plumber hangers, you know, hangers tape or whatever they call it. So you can see the the um, angle irons holding, holding those guys in. And this withstood so far a good 40 mile an hour wind, maybe 50 gusts. Uh, it'll bend a little bit with the wind, and usually the winds hit it on the sides. So far, so good. A hurricane, I'm sure, would be a mess. Uh, probably in about a month, we'll have a, a whole bunch of uh, growth going on in here of uh, tomato plants. And of course, if it goes down to 30 or so at night, I like to turn the heater on to get, you know, maybe 10 or 15 degrees more. These are just cheap little heaters. Uh, you could do propane heaters as well. Just depends on what's going on at night. Um, you know, I, I think anything could handle, you know, in the 40s at night as long as we warm up during the day. So I just monitor that from a day-to-day -day basis. But there you have it. Here's a little uh, temperature. This is like 1295 at Lowe's. It's a transmitter. And in the house, I have a, a little monitor so I can constantly be watching what the temperature is going on in here. There you have it.